I, I, I genuinely believe on YouTube, I, I'm, for example, I would say for me personally, and I've seen it with other characters and other content creators, I think typically you're a bigger version of yourself on YouTube because yeah. you kind of have to be. You have to have that little bit more energy. You have to have that little bit more Spark. charisma. Yeah, it's just, it's you, but just maybe up a notch, potentially. Right. Maybe not Perez. Maybe Perez stays at the same level. <laughs> but you, <laughs> you're up a notch. Uh, for me, like, I knew you you guys were going to be exactly where you were going to be at because I, I watch your videos. I understand what you do. I understand how you how you behave with each other. And you, on video, you're maybe that little bit notch higher than you are in normal day-to-day -day life, which is exactly how I feel like I am, you yeah. know. Yeah. I've, I have worked with content creators before who are different people. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Like, actually feel that i'm like off the course off the video you're like is that even the, that's not the same person yeah yeah that's... you know and 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 i don't know how they can continue to live like that way yeah. it's almost like they're playing two characters yeah and i like i said i definitely know if when i go home and i'm and I'm a normal rick at home with my my family i'm not rick who i am on videos because you just can't be you can't operate at that level as you guys can't be surely like right. you're you're not bloody bob every minute of every day because no. you just can't be can you you know, look at uh, nodding. <laughs> <laughs> or is it? Cool. I mean, look, it, it, the guy close. spends four hours a day being cameo Bob, the same Bob. That's true. Yeah. So, I mean, it's only, four, it's only four a handful down. of things where he's, yeah. yeah it's four <laughs> down. But, but like I say, like, knowing, uh, knowing um, how you work and how you operate, I was intrigued to see how you made content, definitely. Um, and it's exactly how I expected. It's not overproduced. Mm -hmm. It's not... not over it's not produced as in it's like it's very just let's run yeah yeah it's just let's let's go well I, I feel like maybe we're just a little bit certainly on the intros i'm a little bit more meticulous and making sure right let's make sure everyone's in the right place i i make sure the intros are just a little bit more meticulous but then we just run as not like right. it's just normal yeah. after that um but you guys are just straight into it sometimes i'm like are we recording like are, yeah. are we off now okay let's go <laughs> you know um but it but it's worked great there's not been one time where we've been slow and play out on the golf course you know considering we're playing on busy golf courses yeah yeah busy busy golf courses i mean we've been fortunate on a couple of them to go out last tea time yeah so we that could makes take a huge we could difference. take our time but we've flown around most places yeah um and you operate you operate great like you, again ticket and the jet have been brilliant behind the camera yeah. and what they do and how they operate <laughs> Um, it's been great hearing their conversations with, like, say, Sam, my production uh, manager guy, that stuff. and Matt and Ed, and how, you know, you're starting to talk about different ideas, and how do you do your tracers? How, this is how I do my tracers. How do you do the podcast? And you were talking about chatting with Matt, um, you know, if the Jet could do this podcast, you were going to chat with Matt about podcast and this, that, and the other, weren't you? Yeah, I'm still going over. Oh, great. About an hour, yeah. Um, and it, it's just interesting to see how people operate and how, you know, because you guys wouldn't know how we operate. You don't, yeah. we don't you know how you operate. And what's interesting, I think the content um, that comes out of it will still look like our content. Yeah. Like our content will still look like our content. Your content yeah. will still look like your content. It's just that you're in mine and I'm in yours and it kind of works. Yeah. I mean, I think that's, you know, I, I don't, I don't know if that's everything. Like if you're going to break down a percentage of like content in a video versus production level, like, I don't know how that should split. Or how it does split. I, mean, I think at the end of the day, you still have to be who you are. And yeah. once you create an audience, you know, I, I don't know how much real massive benefit or we would see in views or anything if our, our, our production value went up, all other things equal, if that makes sense. Like, I think the content and who you are and the videos that you yeah, make correct. is, is the, the foundation and it's the first floor and it's half the second floor, yeah. right? And then that, that capping off the roof of it might be, you know, the production value. But, yeah. you know. That's all we've started to toy into recently is the production more. Yeah. You know, and when, when, I, when I meant overproduction, I'm almost more like that, that, that first kind of positionings, making sure everyone's in the right. Sure. For me, I'm like first on scene right who's in what position i mean to be to be fair by the end of the week i was a lot, little bit more relaxed and going right let's just roll <laughs> right, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. so i'm probably moving into your kind of style yeah. a little bit more as well uh, but it's only for us the last maybe six seven months we've really tried to up production uh, okay. in editing and extra cameras and putting a bit more time into the drone footage and you know we've hired some fpv drone for some content you saw a little sneak that preview awesome. of that yesterday 
it, I don't think it always transcends into more views, but it just pushes that bar yeah. up a little bit more. You know, for, for all of golf YouTube, let's just let's see if we just raise it a little That's bit more. That's a good point. Yeah, and then everyone else raises it up a little bit, and and it just continues continues to get better. That's a really good point. Just for the for the space that we're in, you know, yeah. you're not necessarily just doing it for yourself. It's it's um you know the you know the leader right goes out and does something everyone else is going to see oh he started doing this like we yeah. gotta everyone's got to sort of fall in line fall in suit so um yeah that's a, that's a good point i hadn't thought about it that way but um yeah i think the more people that are in the space it's just it's sort of like building a um sort of just building an audience to the space yeah. and not necessarily to the channel like you want you want your channel to do well but it's not we're in a cool thing where it's not like watch our show don't watch theirs yeah. you know what i mean there, there's enough the the more time that people spend on youtube watching everyone is the more time they're going to spend watching you right yeah, of course. instead of when, when they turn their tv on they go to youtube but they don't go to cable and that that helps yeah. all of us so if you if you're the only show in town you you, you they're only gonna you're only going to give them what you can give them and they can't stick around. It's not going to recommend your video next. Like no. there's all these things. If you can keep people for all two hours that they have in front of a TV watching YouTube golf, everybody wins. Yeah. I think, um, I think, I think on that as well, like the best content wins. Yeah. yeah. Really. At the end of the day, if you make killer content, it wins. Content is king every single day. It doesn't always have to be a production, but if you can go content king and production king, sure. you know, you, you'd like to think that's kind of where it's aimed at. That's what I, oh, sorry, Joe. That's what I love about with, with YouTube is I feel like YouTube is so well run and it's designed so well to where the best content will, they'll reward the best content, the best production to where like, I trust it and you know that you're going to get the best out of it. There's really not a lot of flukes out there. Yeah. Like, yeah, there might be some video that does like really well for one, but then if you look at a channel, then like their other stuff isn't good. It doesn't always do good. Yeah. Like it really does reward the best production, the best content. Um, so yeah, that's what I love with YouTube. It was interesting. Rick told us um, the other day, you're like, you know, when I started, what we were doing was not really that great. Oh, yeah. It was just very, so for you being in the game for, you know, as long as you've been 11 years or so, it's very, um, it's cool. And it's very educational for someone like us, who's a newer channel, because we often talk about like, how long is this going to be sustainable for? Like, how long are we going to do this? Two years, three years, four years. And you've done this now for over a decade. And to see, you've had to progress and change and all these new things that have come in, like you said before, you didn't have shot tracers, you didn't have this, you didn't have that, thumbnails and titles and everything has changed. It's really cool to see the adaptation and the adjustment in order to continue to be at the top level still after all this time. And for younger creators like us who are kind of newer to the game, it's inspiring and it makes us want to continue to evolve and to develop and to see how long we can do this. Cause you know, Bob said the other day, like, to his credit, like, I don't think there's, you know, we might have other opportunities moving forward, but like what we're doing right now is so enjoyable and so fun. And it's just like, to me, the best job in the world. Like, I don't even know if I necessarily want to do something different moving forward. Like if we could sustain this moving forward for the next five, 10 years, I think that would be awesome for all of us. So to see you talk about it, I think for a younger creator like myself, Bob and, and FP, you know, especially me and FP, we're really new to this game. Um, it's really cool and we can soak stuff in like that and it's just something that we we're very grateful for 